Hey everybody, it's Andy from Snow Camp Shore up here. It's May the 31st, which means it is the last day of skiing upon the Kitsanorn Glacier for this winter spring season. Um, the glacier is now going to close and even though there is a lot of snow up there because we had a tremendous amount of snowfall in April and May, it's now going to close and it will reopen sometime in October. This is because they are doing some construction work up there. If you're familiar with the Alpine Centre, then the Alpine Centre is going to be um, changed slightly. They are growing the capacity. They are bringing the Alpine Centre further out and making more seating area in the restaurant and a few other surprises that will be in there for winter 23-24. So even though the winter is over, we haven't stopped thinking about skiing. We're already preparing for our 2023-24 ski camps. And I have to say that the 27th of January camp at the moment looks like it's going to be the most popular camp of the season. We've already got a phenomenal number of pre-bookings for that camp. Now the reason that camp is so um, popular is it's tail end of January, the snow has arrived and all of the resorts are open. So we get to ski Saubach Hinterglem, Zellemsee, Capron and on the Kitsanorn Glacier which is one of the attractions for that camp. If you'd like to get on that camp just drop us an email and we can have a chat. So as well as the January camp being very very popular our December camp is also a pretty popular date. It's at the beginning of December the glacier is relatively quiet and what you find is a lot of people come on this camp because they want to prepare for the holiday season. So if you want to get your ski legs back you want to find the center of the ski you want to improve your technique before your family holiday, your friends holiday, um, in the main season, then the December camp is a good time to come. Obviously it's off peak lift prices as well. The hotels are a little bit less expensive. And as I say, it's not that busy on the glacier on that camp. So pre-December camp to get your ski legs back. If you wanna join a big group of individuals, many traveling solo or with same sex friends, um, then, that is January. It's going to be a big camp, that one. We also have an early January camp running. We're also offering a camp in March and one in April. But those two at the moment are looking the most popular dates. Something else we're working on this summer is our goggles. You may have seen on our, on our Facebook page. We are working with a manufacturer of ski goggles to bring you a pair of premium optics with a full Revo coated gold lens. We're also throwing in a low light lens in yellow into the package. We've got TUP rubber, um, triple foam. We've got non-slip elasticated band to keep them goggles on your helmet. And the best news of all is once these goggles land, for anybody booking onto a camp, you're gonna get a pair free. We've always offered a free gift with camps. Uh, we started with some water bottles. We've done backpacks in the past. We've done buffs this year. We've upped our game and we are gonna bring you a pair of very premium ski goggles. These goggles have a retail value of around about 130 euros. And if you're not coming to one of the camps but you would like to purchase a pair, we have got a limited number, but you can go onto our website now, go to the equipment page and you can pre-register your interest. And once the goggles land, we will be able to sell you a pair as well. So that is something to look forward to if you are joining one of our camps this year. Don't go out buying goggles for, before the season because you're going to get given a pair once you get to Capron on your camp. So there you have it folks. End of the winter season in Capron, Austria. We are very busy planning and preparing for winter 23-24. We've got that goggle project on the go and we are accepting bookings for the camps and also private and group lessons. Now you may be wondering where I am today, different locations for each part of this video. Well, this is the historical village of Bad Fush. Um, no longer a village anymore, but an outstanding area of natural beauty. We are on the edge of the Hotawa National Park and I'm standing in front of one of our hydrotherapy water pools. It's a Kneipenlag. You can see the fresh water flowing out of the arm basin there into one of the foot treatments. And this is where we work in the summer. This is where we have our restaurant grill and craft where we grill food and we serve craft beer so if you are heading over to the area Zalemzi Capron in the summer then do come up and visit us here in Bad Fush we are very family friendly we have family friendly hiking adventure trails we have a playground we have the hydrotherapy pools we have our lookout that you saw me on at the beginning we have our small lake there is a plethora of things to do for the whole family from the youngest to the eldest 
You can access us by car, you can hike, or you can ride up on your bike. That is what we get up to in the summer, folks. Office work for snow camps and putting very tasty food on some very nice shiny plates up here in the old village of Badfush. It's Andy for Snow Camp Show saying having a fantastic summer. If you do want any information, then you know how to get in contact with me. You can go via the website, the YouTube channel, or just drop me an email and we will try and look after you. Don't forget, we also offer that free and resort service to anybody coming to Caproni. You do not have to book anything with Snow Camp Europe to get that service. And again, just drop us an email with your questions or what you need, and we will try and help you out. It's Andy for Snow Camp Europe saying have a fantastic summer, everybody. Don't stop thinking of skiing. The winter is only just around the corner. It's bye for now. Time to put some food on plates.